sad. Are you alright? Yes. You coming to get stiffied? <laughs> That's the funniest thing you've ever heard. You wanna know something crazy though? Cause my car's about to get stiffied as well. I have stiffies. You do? Yeah. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Bobby, the other day, decided to go on my account on eBay. what did you buy? How much you buy? I bought... Some stiffies. Some coolies. She bought some stiffies. Mm -hmm. She wanted her car to get stiffied. And she bought nice ones. She bought Perrin ones and like two weeks ago, I ordered some for my STI and I bought, I forget what brand, eBay ones. They were like $40 for three of them. How much were yours? Oh. <laughs> um, like one freaking something. One something. Yeah. hundred bucks. I've literally always wanted stiffies my whole life. Yeah, <laughs> I can respect it. <laughs> to get today started off, I don't know what else we're going to do today, but today, <laughs> but to get today started off, we're gonna be stiffying both cars. I also did buy a new one of these, but I'm assuming it hasn't come in yet. The what, the badge? Yeah, I got red ones. I think it's also probably time to fix this car a little bit. Every time I drive it, my bumper pops off and it rubs really freaking bad. Do you hear it rubbing on the way home? Honey. What? It's really stupid when it rubs like that. Do, could you hear it? No. That's a good sign. Let's go find your stiffies. Okay. Wow. What do you gotta think? What do I gotta think? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Kavi Evo's gotta sleep in the garage. Yeah. Pretty steep. Well, the SCI's gotta sleep in the garage. They're junky. She opened yours and I wanna compare <laughs> the expensive ones versus the cheap one. See, I wanted the vented style. No, I actually do kinda dig these. No, they're nice. I <laughs> <laughs> mean. It's just, it's just funny because they're nice, but I'm just happy that mine are bigger than yours. <laughs> You're so weird. I know. All right, whose are we gonna do first? Oh, mine. So here's a comparison. These are 02 to 07, these are 15 to 19. These are $40 for all three, these are 140 for two or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, all right, back your car in. Okay. Let's get her done. Are the Evos in the way? Um, if you just wanna push, no? She's too beautiful to push. You look like a racer now. At least we got something going on. You like them? Yeah, I love them. I've always wanted them. They look better if your car was slammered. Yeah. Are you gonna slam her or just drop it a little bit? Mm. You're gonna go this low? Mm -mm. That low? I'm just gonna fill in the gap.
the ones we put on Bobby's car are definitely a bit higher quality. They fit a lot better. The ones we put on my car are like a little bit too short. So I had to double up on the double sided tape for them to actually stick. But I mean, overall, they overall, look, they look so good. Mine were only 40 bucks or three years or a hundred and something for two. So do you think it's worth spending the extra dough? Very. Well, not for the budget build. Oh, well, mine's on a budget build. That's why I'm building it so slow. I understand. <laughs> if you guys want to pick up the ones I put on my car, I'll link, I'll link them down below. And the ones we put on Bobby's car, I'll link oh, them down below as well. <laughs> oh, excuse you? No. <laughs> I think it's time to take out one of the Evos. Finally ordered a pillar guys, a pillar cover. Finally, finally, finally found one. I used one because new OEM ones are expensive. And I saw some comments about some parts on the STI as well. A new grill was ordered like a month ago, right when I got the car. Probably not a month ago. Yeah, three weeks ago. Um, but it came from overseas. It came from like China or something. So it's taking forever to show up. And what else was there? In fact, there's one other part of that people kept saying. Oh, steering wheel. Yeah, I'm picking up an airbag tonight or tomorrow. So I can, I have a stock steering wheel at home. I just need the airbag for it. So we can get that stock steering wheel back on. Which should take care of the check engine light as well. Okay. Finally picked up a stock airbag for the STI. All right, we just made it back to the shop. So we have a factory OEM steering wheel, the clock spring. There's actually no clock spring in the car at all right now. So that's why it's throwing so many like crazy dash lights on. And we also picked up an airbag. Now I know this isn't the STI airbag. This is off of a WRX. The only difference is this badge right here. And I looked and looked and looked, try to find the factory STI airbag for the car. And someone local the whole time had this WRX airbag. So today I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the WRX one. And then I'm gonna look for just a badge online like an overlay and put it over that Subaru badge. If we decide we really, really want that. So I'm super excited to get this set up in the car. I do like quick release steering wheels, like the one we have in the FRS, for example, but this one I'm not the hugest fan of. I don't like the wood grain in this car. It does, I, don't, I feel like it doesn't belong in this car. We're gonna go ahead and get that swapped out for the factory stuff. Should be pretty easy to do. It's been a minute since I messed with steering wheels. Pop that off. And then we should just have to unbolt the hub from the steering column. The only thing I am not 100% sure on is how to properly install the clock spring. Cause it has to be completely centered. If it's off like 180 degrees or 360, we're still gonna have like an ABS light on or a brake light on or some sort of lights on on the dash. So I need to do some research figure that out but for now let's go ahead and get all of this aftermarket stuff removed All right guys, we got the clock spring in. Everything's all connected underneath the steering column. We should be good to go there. As far as my question earlier about how to get this thing centered, it literally tells you right here. So point front wheels straight ahead, rotate 3.25 turns from right and stop, align match marks. So that is what we're gonna do. It's turned all the way to the right stop. So we're gonna go one, two, three, 
and a quarter align match marks which are on the bottom right here and we should be ready to install a steering wheel now we're obviously going to put the steering wheel on completely straight so like that now the only thing I haven't figured out is what the other plug is for. This one for the cruise control plugs in right there, but there's an empty spot right there. So I don't know if something needs to go there or not. I guess we can throw it all together, go on a drive and see. Let's torque down that nut, get the airbag installed under the steering wheel, and hopefully that should take care of a ton of the lights. It should allow the speedo to work. Hopefully our cruise control and all that is gonna work as well. All right, this is the scary part. Everything's all finished up. I connected the battery. The scary part for me is turning on the ignition the first time after messing with airbags. I'm always worried that it's gonna blow up in my face. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Oh, not this again. doesn't work so we got to figure that out it looks like the cruise control is not working either but we don't have any check engine light or brake light or ABS light yet yet let's go drive it and see what happens so putting the factory airbag back in along with the clock spring didn't really resolve any issues that we were having with the car. The speedo still doesn't work. Check engine light is now on. The brake light is on. I'm not sure if the ABS light was on earlier or not, but DCCD is still flashing. So I think we are having another issue with the car. Of course, I'm very happy we ended up with the stock steering wheel in the car, along with the factory airbag. I think it's much nicer than the setup that was in here, but we do still have a check engine light on. Let's head back to the shop real quick. Let's scan it and see what is causing that check engine light. I know we ran these codes before and it was for some sort of, I think it was some sort of ABS sensor. Vehicle speed sensor A, circuit low, P0502. I guess that explains why our speedometer is not working. I'm guessing there's an issue with the speed sensor, which is on the transmission. We are gonna have to pull off the intercooler to figure out if the speed sensor is bad, if there's like a broken wire, if there's a broken, like the connection's broken or not even plugged in. I remember that check engine light from earlier for that same code right when we got this car, but I never did anything about it. I was kind of just hoping that installing the clock spring and the factory airbag may take care of that. But of course it did not. Unfortunately, I am running out of time today to do anything about that check engine light. Hopefully it's an easy fix. There was some people online saying that they've had to pull apart their transmission to actually fix it. So it'd be pretty shitty if we had to drop the tranny out of this car to get the issue fixed. If any of you guys have had that PO502 code on your STI, Drop a comment down below. Let me know what the issue was. Maybe it would help us diagnose this car a little bit better. I am stoked on the little stiffies that we got installed. I think they look pretty good. Obviously, we still need to raise up the car. We definitely still need to raise up the car a little bit. I was joking around on Instagram the other day saying that we're going to drop it another half inch, but that would literally make the car undrivable. Honestly, I'm already very sick of the rubbing and scraping. I know it looks dope and all, and we could just throw smaller tires on it, but I'd rather just raise it up like a half inch and be able to drive it just fine and not worry about scraping or rubbing at all. Also super pumped on the factory steering wheel that we got installed. That is gonna be it for today, guys. Peace out, I'll see you guys tomorrow.